It's Tuesday the 30th of March. We're out here at Lillybrook and I'm playing golf. Right. Went to the range yesterday. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. The only club I struggled with was the driver. Big over the top, steep down into the wall, pop up off the uh, top edge. Not a good swing. Now, if you watch 4-4 uh, four four Golf, that's Dave, the Essex boy down under, I occasionally uh, pull his leg. So this opening tee shot is for Dave to uh, get some payback, I guess. Now, if you haven't played yet, I'm sure you will have played, but the first thought that springs to my mind is don't second guess the error that you're likely to make, i.e. aim at a target and get on with it. Don't think, oh, am I going to hit it left? Am I going to hit it right? And try and guess which mistake you're going to make. Just get on the tee box, pick your target, aim at your target, swing away. You never know, it might turn out all right. If I said I wasn't nervous over that one, I'd be a liar. We're in the right rough, we're behind the trees, but we'll recover, see if we make a par. Well, I'm getting closer. I did think about going upstairs there with a 7-iron and going over the edge of that tree, but uh, probably best to take a simple shot and go under it. Isn't that my game in a nutshell? Although I would normally have hit the fairway, but a scrambled par. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, I'll save the rest of the face till later. <laughs> what was that? That was about a foot off the ground and it's run out there pretty good. So perhaps a five iron, maybe a six iron into the green. Middle of the fairway, I'll take that. <laughs> Third hole, stroke seven, long par three. Now this is where I drop my shot due to good play, as opposed to the par three 17th where I drop my shot due to the WHS. This is a toughie. I was happy with the tee shot, it only faded a little bit, but um, yeah, nice D cell, Simon. Followed by another poor one, still. 
It's not going to be perfect first day back, is it? But uh, we can fix this. First time out with a driver. This was the club I was struggling with on the range. I've absolutely buttoned this one. That's gone miles down. Left me a 9-iron in. That was a semi-knife. And it's gone down the path. My knife went all the way down this path and finished up way, way down there. So, um... It's in my pocket now where it's safe and I can't do any more harm. Well, I haven't got any turn. I turned on the reins last night, but of course that's hit a wall, scrape another, hit a wall, scrape another. Anyway, see if we can get it up and down. Long left, not what I want. Funny really, I used to choose a fade on this par 3 until I started having lessons with James. Then I started to draw these irons. So I choose a draw for this tee shot. Although um, that one just went straight. Still, it's on the dance floor. Just got a shove up there. Didn't turn much. Tapped it in for me par. First time on the 8th, I'm going for a fade. And I've just pulled it. That's in the left rough. It hasn't gone very far. And that puts me in all sorts of bother. Yes, yeah, so I'll pull the two iron out. Because, you know, low shot under the tree. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I've duffed mine into the pond. There's to be one tree and the whole bloody course that I've hit there, so. <laughs> Yeah, so I've duffed mine into the pond. Found two others. Then I found mine, which was right on the edge of the pond. And in reaching for it, I disturbed it and it rolled into the pond. But you know, I got two Pro V1s for the price of one. So exchange is no robbery. Then I just dropped the ball and hit me two iron. And I actually hit it well. I mean, it was waist high, but that's how I hit a two iron. I don't ever seem to be able to get the ball in the air much. So we got a chance to make a well make it make another bad score. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, but is, this is better than being stuck at home. Am I right? Am I right?
Well, this is another hole where I go to the left side of the tee and go for the draw. But this is just ever so slightly overdone. It's in the left rough and you're dead down there. Second shot is virtually impossible. Look where my feet are aiming. I am going for a big draw here. No, I absolutely nutted that, but it was dead straight. That last shot was fantastic. Apart from the fact it did not have a single inch of draw on it. I've hit one of these trees here and it's, it's come back at me. But it's sat up in the rough, so um, flags at the back. I've got about 60 yards. I'm going to go upstairs. Yeah, it was sat up too much, I went completely underneath it. Right, sat down this time, got to go under the tree, over the bunker and stop it. Well, two out of three ain't bad. This isn't bad at all. Oops. <laughs> Shall we go to the tenth? I hate having the flag in. It makes the hole look full up to me, as if I can't actually get the damn ball in it. Damn it! So this is 11. If you look on the overhead, there was a giant bunker here and one giant bunker here. And as you can see, they've put in two pots. There's two smaller bunkers that side as well. The entire front of the green has been flattened and widened. So now they can have some more flag positions down the front because before it was very, very narrow here. So all the flags had to go back up the green a bit. Grass hasn't quite knitted yet. Could be, uh, I think it's two weeks before. Can't even do that, Simon. Oh, jeez. Well, the view's nice. That three wood is beasted way up onto the top level. 
finally a great shot. But it's left me one of these. Remember, I really, really struggled with these last year. Lost all confidence in throwing the ball in the air. That's better. Turn, you bastard! I'm getting my money's worth out of this face tonight, aren't I? I'm using all of it. But it is up, I think. Oh, brother, I'm going to have a five or a four iron into the green from there. I actually hit that one out of camera. <laughs> <laughs> 